Bullet Train. I just watched this movie last night at an early release, and I got a lot of things to say. Because I watched this movie early, I'm going to assume that the majority of you still haven't seen it, so I won't give any spoilers in this review. If you have seen this movie, you'll understand what I'm saying even better, but I might release a review with spoilers in the future, so keep that in mind. But without any further ado, let's get into it. I've noticed that every once in a while, Brad Pitt will take on a movie that isn't typical. He's done this in the past with World War Z, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and now Bullet Train. I have a lot of respect for Brad because he's willing to branch out and act in movies that are a little more risky and quirky. Bullet Train is no exception to this, as this movie is unique and has a great concept. When I watched the trailer for this movie, I was pretty excited and I really fell in love with the way the movie looks. But let's talk about whether the movie can make something out of its concept. Let's start with the positives of Bullet Train. The first thing I'll talk about is the cinematography. This movie is beautiful to look at. From the color palette to the second coming of the Messiah and Brad Pitt, this movie just looks so vibrant. I love how it gives off that late night Tokyo vibe with its rich purples and blues, while at the same time balancing giving beautiful cinematography while having only one main setting. And this leads us on to the second thing that I loved about Bullet Train, and that is its setting. I have this weird respect for movies that confine themselves to one setting. I feel like it's a really ballsy move to do, since you're putting all of your eggs in one basket, and when a movie pulls it off, it just makes the film all the more admirable. For example, 12 Angry Men is a movie that takes place entirely in a jury room, and that's a huge reason why people consider this movie to be one of the greatest of all time, because it makes so much out of just one tiny room. We've also seen other movies in the past that deal with trains that do this one setting style amazingly. Snowpiercer and Train to Busan do a great job of storytelling while being confined to just one environment. Bullet Train follows in the footsteps of those movies in that it also takes place entirely in a train and it makes its setting fun. The last positive that I'll mention about Bullet Train is that it tries to give each of its characters a backstory. I love that Bullet Train does this because it makes the characters' motivations and actions make more sense and we can understand each of the characters' perspectives. I love that Bullet Train actually bothers to flesh out each of its characters and these backstories really help out with the story. The characters are also pretty charming and this really helps the movie. Now let's move on to the negatives, but just before we get into it, there is one ambiguous aspect that I have to mention. When I say ambiguous, I mean it could be a positive thing for some, but it could also be a downside for others. That thing is the comedy. The comedy in this movie is a massive aspect of it because it is literally an action comedy. If you don't like the comedy in this movie, you're not going to enjoy it. For me personally, the movie has some funny moments, but I always like some wittier jokes. Bullet Train is a bit cheesy, and sometimes the jokes can feel cheap and cliche. I'll be honest, the comedy didn't win me over, and I wanted something that was a bit more clever. But all of us have a different sense of humor, so you might enjoy the comedy even though I didn't find the movie extremely funny. Okay, now let's get into the actual negatives of this movie. The first negative for me is the plot. This movie's plot is nothing special, and in fact, I would say the plot is pretty boring, and it doesn't really make anything out of itself. The plot just seems like a vehicle for the comedy, in that the story is just meant to get us from joke to joke at times. The plot is also like the comedy, in that it is cliche at times, and this plot is definitely the biggest fault within the movie. But I won't get any deeper, because that would lead to spoilers. The second negative that I had with this movie is that it feels like it's trying to do way too much at times. I feel like this movie could take a lot of its plot lines and simplify them because the movie seems like it gives us plot lines that don't really go anywhere or mean anything. Some of the characters are also poorly integrated into the story. There's also a lot of plot convenience in this movie. The next thing I'll mention for me was the sound mixing. With a lot of the characters who speak with accents, it was hard to understand them. But not because of their accents, it was because they were either mumbling or the sound designers just didn't turn them up enough. I'm leaning towards the latter being the explanation, but this could have just been my theater so I won't hold it against the film since it may not be the movie's fault. Okay, let's get to the part I hate doing, giving the score. Bullet Train is a beautiful looking movie with some comedic moments spurred throughout its screening, but the plot or lack thereof drags this movie down a lot. Bullet Train's plot is really just a vehicle for the jokes, and if you don't like the jokes, then you won't like this movie. 
and that is a really massive issue because this movie is way too reliant on its jokes to keep you interested. Another movie like Knives Out makes comedy a big part of the movie, but the plot is also super interesting and engaging. So even if you didn't like all the jokes that Knives Out had to offer, you were still paying attention because the plot kept you invested. Bullet Train doesn't have this plot aspect, and the movie falls short because of its typical story that's filled to the brim with plot convenience. The only real saving graces for this movie are that it looks beautiful and it has Brad Pitt's charm, but the movie overall just tries to do way too much for its own good. Guys, I really want to like this movie because I like some of the quirks, but I think I'll completely forget about this movie's existence in a few days. I've gotta be honest, and on a scale of 1-4, to four, I'm giving Bullet Train a 2.5. If you jive with the comedy, then this movie can maybe turn to a 3, but the plot just stops this movie from being so much more. This movie is no Snowpiercer or Train to Busan, but if you can find tickets for the right price and can go in without high expectations or expecting a realistic thriller, then I think you'll be pleasantly surprised in some way. Bullet Train is an okay movie that could have been good or even great had it made much better use of its concept. Alright guys, that's all I have for this video. Please let me know whether you plan on watching this movie, and if you have seen this movie, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Your support guys has been amazing for the past few videos, and just last week, I was thanking you all for 200 subscribers, and now we are almost at 370. I'm completely speechless, the growth we've had in the past week has been bigger than the past few months, thank you all so much for the support, it really means a lot, and as always, if you made it this far, thank you, I love you, and I genuinely hope that you have a great rest of your day.